Welcome to the White River. So one of my personal goals is to catch a 30 inch wild brown trout and I can guarantee you there are multiple 30 inch wild brown trout in the river right now. Matter of fact, the, probably the biggest brown trout in America is in that river right now. Uh, other than New Zealand, there's nowhere else really like it. And um, yeah, that's where we're gonna be fishing for the rest of this week. We just got done driving for 17 hours, which is miserable, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. And so tomorrow we're gonna kind of chill out, not really do much, maybe fish some in the afternoon and hopefully maybe catch a brown trout for you guys. I have no idea. It depends on what kind of water they're running and stuff like that. Also, this video is sponsored by Red's Fly Time. This is a small business out of Georgia with the mission to sell flies for conservation, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you just saw us fish North Georgia the state is also pretty awesome. Anyway, they have a killer selection of streamers, which you guys see us use all the time to catch big brown trout. Uh, tungsten nymphs, which you can use for urine nymphing, which you've been seeing us do a lot of that recently too. And a bunch of flies for around $1. If you guys want to buy some of those flies, I'll leave a link in the description to the website where you can buy them, also his Instagram. You can use code HFA for 10% off your order. So go do that buy some flies, help raise some money for conservation, and please go show support to us and to them and check out the flies and maybe buy a few, share it with your friends, whatever you gotta do. Now let's go catch some, hopefully, giant White River brown trout after I sleep, because I'm exhausted. Holy sh**, guys, what the hell? Did you guys just see that? I just laid my streamer in the water. And my, I hope I was recording. I just laid the streamer in the water. What the hell? I just laid my streamer in the water. I was taking the water line out. Oh my God, that was insane. I'm just at a loss for words, guys. You saw me. Literally. You're mad at that current. Literally, guys. I'm recording, right? That's probably the, that's the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. I think Andrew's running to grab the net. It's probably 20, 18 to 20. I literally laid this in the water and the streamer's gone. What is it? <laughs> I was gonna say it looked like it was about 30. I, I wish it was 30. <laughs> Here's just a, it's my first White River Brown of the year. Gorgeous fish. All right. All right guys, so that was probably Literally the most insane thing. I don't know how much was recording. I literally just hit the record button and I dropped my streamer right here in this little eddy and I was pulling line out of the reel so I could make a cast down this and I heard goo -goo -goo and I was like, what is that noise? And then I looked and my line was flying out of my reel or my rod and I just grabbed the rod and set and a brown trout literally hit my streamer right here on the bank. I, can't, I, I mean, I can't make that up. I mean, I don't know how much you guys got to see of it on there, but 
Yeah, that's my first White River Brown. I think that's not, I don't think. I know that's bigger than the uh, brown I caught last year on the White River. So literally first day and I've already broken my White River PB, so to speak. But as you saw, that brown was super, super dark. He still had some of the spawning colors and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, that was just insane. I mean, I don't even know what to say. But I, I've had like one follow today from one that was probably 18 to 20, but that one was definitely bigger and he was probably prettier. So I'm just happy to be on the board. We haven't even gotten to the actual, like tomorrow we're actually going out and boat fishing. Haven't even done that yet today. Or not, we haven't even done that yet. Today we're literally just fishing on the bank for fun of it. And right here before dark at almost four o'clock on the board, the white. So day one, White River, we're at the boat ramp and uh, no one else here, which I'm not complaining about, but it's pretty early. We got here, it's 725 currently, and February 1st, they're running like 18,000, over 18,000 CFS, so perfect streamer water, cloudy. We really have no excuses, so hopefully we're going to get it done. We're here with TJ, who's back there getting the boat ready, um, same as last year. You guys, guys should go check out Fin Chaser Outfitters and book a trip with him so you guys can slay out these giant brown trout like we're about to do. Anyway, I'm going to start to stop talking because we got to get everything together and on the boat and fishing because they're going to run this water for about three hours. So time's clicking, ticking, whatever. It all looks so good. Yeah. If I don't see anything soon, I'm gonna switch colors. Maybe throw something like that, that tan yellow color. Try something different. Yep. I think I'm gonna change colors. I don't think it's working. I'd have done seen something. Should have at least had a follower. Hand me that yellow box real quick. Switch to this. I'm gonna try this little thing. Well, I'm gonna just let it float right here, man. Let and then about this tan yellow thing. We'll try that. A little yeah, different. Good job. It's not a bad fish. Well done. Woo wee. Well done. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I was watching, and all of a sudden I just bam. I was like, oh, wait, there's a fish. He actually ate. That's a good fish. Of course, I wasn't recording for that one. I had just literally just stopped like two seconds ago. That's okay. First fish of the day, boys. First fish of the day. That's a start, brother. Yes, sir. Yellow was key. All right, guys. So, first fish. I wasn't recording for the hit, but we've been, we've run down this bank once, didn't catch anything. Switched up streamers, ran down it again, and second time we ran down it, I caught one. First, first brown out of today. There we go. So there's first uh, brownie of the trip. He's uh, skinny, but he's a nice one. Probably close to 20. There you go. So we're gonna get this guy released, and then we're gonna probably run this bank again because apparently there's fish there. So yeah. All right guys, so we caught, or I caught that one brown. It's been a struggle and we couldn't figure out why. And then we just realized here, when we got here to the parking lot, A, the stock truck just came by, which they do stock like little rainbows and stuff in here for people to catch and keep. White River's a pretty cool place. The wild brown's probably eating it. But I wanna show you this. The water, they've actually released more water. And now the water's like in the parking lot. And there's rainbow trout laying like right here in front of us. Look at this. Like, I don't know if they can see that. That's a trout. He's probably not going to make it. There's a few others laying there. But then we got the live one swimming out around here. No, I don't know. 
<laughs> they don't look too hot in there either. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised Brown Chine ain't coming up here and slurping. Anyway, well, look, look at the parking lot now. So they actually released more water, which is probably why we stopped catching fish there. I mean, that's just brown trout candy right there. Those 30 inch browns, man. No wonder they get so big. Oh yeah, that one's not doing too well either. Anyway, we're gonna get, we're gonna eat because it's lunchtime. We're hungry, and then we're gonna fish some more because actually releasing the water more actually help us a lot more. Like it's gonna concentrate the fish even more, which is the whole name of the game in here. Trying to get as many, trying to throw your streamer to as many fish as possible. So caught that one this morning. It's kind of a grind, but at least we caught one better than last year on our first day. And yeah, we're gonna get out here, eat, catch some fish, and in the day out for you guys. No, I mean, I could see. That, that was him. I mean, it was a rainbow there for <laughs> sure because I just was watching my steering in the water and it started going like, it was starting to fly off to the left. I don't, I can't see a fish though. Right. Which probably means it's just a rainbow. Yeah, probably. But I kind of looked towards John because I was like, does he have my line or something? <laughs> right. there There's a rainbow. Yeah. Maybe that's what I was having hit the whole time. Uh, there we go, first. Look at the spots, I mean, it's tiny little spots all the way up. Well, the fish seem to be feeding. Uh, keep getting these dumb. I think I had, I know, I got a piece of crap. Yeah, I can only dream. I don't know if I could pull a dirty in. I probably have that. Out of my hand. 
That's actually pretty good size. This one I think is bigger than the last one I caught. Let's see if I can hold him up without no, just completely. Got it? Oh, that's a nice one for sure. Heck yeah, look at there the tail go. on that thing. That thing's got a Darker huge brown tail. Got too. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. Get him back and maybe find another one. I mean, they're obviously kind of hitting because this is all at once. Back to back too. drifts. That's too yeah. good for this Yep. All right, we'll get this released. Keep on going. All right, so <clears throat> that was a actually really successful day. Um, it was a really cold day. This was not like on our top days of what we thought were going to be great fishing. But they ended up running really good water and we kind of grinded it out. We fished all morning. I caught that one in the morning. And then in the afternoon we had about a 30 minute period window and Andrew caught three rounds in that 30 minute window. So it ended up, we grinded it out and it ended up being an outstanding day. Um, there were several times where we were like, you know, we should be you know, doing something else because the fishing was poor and it was cold, cold, cold. And the wind was blowing and it was not among, as far as comfort levels, it was not a fun day of fishing, but we caught fish. So we're super happy with that. Um, as always, we're gonna end this video off here and then tomorrow we'll pick back up again. We're supposed to be running good water again in the morning. So fingers crossed. Uh, I'll leave TJ uh, Fin Chaser Outfitters down below. I'll leave that link below. Uh, go give him, go check him out and book a trip with him. He'll get you on the fish. Promise. And then check out uh, Red's Fly Tying as well. we we'll sponsor this video. And don't forget to use code HFA for 10% off. And check them out and support them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this first little White River video. We've got at least three more really good days of fishing maybe four five i don't know depends on how long our arms give out because i don't know about you guys but if you've ever uh streamer fished big water before it is brutal on your body especially if you're not used to it so anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh don't forget to like comment subscribe as well peace